Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, we're going to be talking about Jamel Charlo. A couple of days ago, I made a video talking about how Jamel Charlo and Tony Harrison are going to be rematching from their last fight that they had on the PBC on Fox card. And this article, when I read it, it kind of bothered me because I'm not really sure what Jamel Charlo's thinking in this case of the matter, if he's really blaming the judges for the decision that happened, or if he's going to take responsibility and try to make particular adjustments in that fight that can make it in his favor. But in this article, it states, Jamel Charlo will take closer looks at judges for his fights. Quote. Now, in this article, it goes on to say, Upon thanking his host at Barclays Center, Fox and promoter Tom Brown, Jamel Charlo voiced one complaint during a post-fight press conference late Saturday night. Just choose different judges, Charlo suggested. The judges for his next fight, probably an immediate rematch with Tony Harrison, obviously won't be the same as those assigned to their 12-round fight Saturday night. Whichever judges draw those assignments, Charlo's close loss Saturday night made him realize he should take a more active role in examining the pools of judges that commissions offer to fighters' camps prior to making those decisions. It also goes on to state in this article, Managers, promoters, and the fighters themselves have the right to take issue with particular judges once commissions inform them which judges are under consideration to work particular fights. Commissions aren't required to comply if a boxer objects to a judge, but oftentimes will avoid assigning that judge to help ensure that there isn't conflict come fight night. Charlo did not take an active role in studying judges before the New York State Athletic Commission assigned Julie Letterman, Ron McNair, and Robin Taylor to score his WBC super welterweight title defense versus Harrison. Charlo's company, Lions Only Promotions, was a co-promoter of the eight-bout card Saturday night in Brooklyn. Now, it also goes on to say, definitely, now I've got to look at it, said Charlo, who lost for the first time as a pro, because I should have learned that from the Trout fight, knowing that they tried to give me a majority decision on that fight, knowing that I won that fight. I dropped him twice in that fight, hurt this kid a lot tonight, and they still let this be what it is, quote. Now, with this article coming out, the one thing that I'm really hoping is that Jamel Charlo isn't trying to go into this rematch with the same mindset that he had going into this first fight that he had with Tony Harrison. Because if he goes into this rematch with that same mindset, he is probably going to end up losing again. Just for the simple fact is... It doesn't seem like he's coping with the fact that there were certain adjustments that he should have made in that fight. Now, he isn't wrong in stating that he did hurt Harrison in that fight. I don't care what Harrison said, but I know that he hurt Harrison in that fight. When you're in a round and a dude is clocking you and you're holding on to the dude for dear life and the referee has to warn you stating, when I tell you to let go, you let go. That means you're holding on for dear life because you got hurt. Now, I know going into the next fight, Harrison definitely learned a lot about Jamel Charlo, what he has to watch out for, certain adjustments that he has to make himself going into the rematch. But the thing that bothers me is that Jamel Charlo isn't coping with the fact that he lost that fight due to certain adjustments that he did not make into the fight. And the adjustments that he did make into the fight, especially going into the 11th and the 12th round, he made them too damn late. By that time he made those adjustments, you are already behind on the scorecards. So hopefully he's not going into this next fight thinking about what judges are going to be talking about. And he needs to be going into this next fight knowing the particular adjustments that he needs to make into that fight and trying to get Harrison's ass up out of there before the friggin' decision. Because like I said in my last video, it is his fault that it went to the judge's scorecard. So he has nobody else to blame but himself. He can blame the judges for the decisions. He can blame anybody he wants to blame. But if he can't look himself in the mirror and tell himself that he made certain mistakes and that he should have made particular 
other adjustments in that fight that could have changed the judging in that fight, then he is going to go into this next fight and he's going to lose that fight against Harrison because he has all the skills in the world to be able to beat Harrison. Dude, he has skills that he hasn't even tapped into yet in this fight. But if he goes into this next fight with that same damn mindset, dude, it's going to be another damn loss on this record, man. So hopefully that's not going to be the case, but I guess we'll just have to find out when that fight comes. All right. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments on this video, make sure to hit me up in the comments section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.